She gotta be like 10. 11 max. 11 max. She has. She look at her. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy daddy. Go by Drew <laughs> So I'll be back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, this popped on my sport page. You know what I'm saying? This popped on my recommended, not a sport, whatever it was. Apparently, this girl, this girl has been doing the Tatiana dance with multiple men. Some say hundreds, some say thousands. I don't know how much it is. Maybe she's gonna talk about it. But we finna react to this video of this girl that is apparently has been out here. Has been out here doing the a lot, you feel me? Now, people always get mad when it's like, why y'all call a girl like a thotty if she got mad bodies, but if like a guy has mad bodies, it's like an accomplishment, I'm saying. I saw this one TikTok and I feel like it broke it down pretty, pretty good. It's like, okay, a door, right? If you have a key that opens many doors, that's a master key, I'm saying. But if, it, if you're a door that's opened by many keys, you would thought. I'm not saying you is a thought Diana. I mean, like you, you not. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you personally. But I'm saying it's a bad. It's a bad door if it's open by a lot of keys. So like, if you, you know, you get what I'm saying. I'm saying. I, yeah. Anyways, let's just let's just get into this video. But before we get into the video, Joy. I kind of seen about two or three free bullets at fifty dollars. No, saying. Like I said, we is close to a million subscribers. So I need y'all to hit that subscribe button. I'm excited to reach a million. When I hit a million, everybody's getting free high fives. I promise y'all. Everybody's getting free virtual high fives. The best of the high fives I got is for you. You only. I ain't giving it to everybody. Just you. But um, I'm actually excited to watch this video. So let's just hop right into this. Like the video right now. Alright, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Today. Wait, wait. Just pause for a second. Okay, thought it. Right. Uh, her? 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 It's not wrong with her. I was just asking. Her? Okay. We are going to be doing a messy ass video. Today's video is not safe for work. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Unless you want to be hearing me talk about dick in the, in the fucking office. I don't know. You're in the workplace hearing me talk about dick. Doc Karen if your boss hears you. I don't give a damn. So before I got to Japan, I was a hoe. Like, oh, okay. She jumping right into this, man. She's uh, she jumping right into this, man. What's going on right now, man? Straight up hoe. I did whole shit. I Ubered to Dick. Dick Ubered to me. Shit was just wild. We were wilding out, you know? Like, shit. And then I got myself like a little boyfriend over the summer. I was like, oh my God. He everything to me. He my life. He my son. And then I got to Japan. I was like, oh shit. And that shit exploded. Like, quick. So then I became a whole again. Because like, that's just who I am. Like, you know how sad I'll be if my daughter like came out like this. Y'all understand how sad I would be if my daughter was a thought Diana. Don't you know how mad I'm gonna be if my thought if my daughter is a thought Diana. I cannot have a thought Diana. I cannot have a thought Diana daughter. I cannot do it. And she's just so bold. But she looked like 10, 12, 13. She not old. Like what? What is? Who's her parent? Where are her parents at, man? They don't want to claim her. I wouldn't want to claim her either. Let's be honest here. Looking like that. Looking like a clown. All that makeup on looking clownish. In chocolate. But like this is my man's house right now. Like my current man that I'm with. Like this is his. This is his, his house. Like. Ooh. Anyways. So. Like I was on the dig. Like first week of school. I was on that dig. Like. Because some about college boys man. Like. Where I go to school, like, everybody on that campus, like, the main campus, not where I go to, you know, <laughs> like, everybody on that campus is fine as hell. Like, they tall, some of them tall. They dress nice, they dress real nice, they clean, they take showers. I'm like, people in, the, like, the U.S., you know, they go to school musty. People in the U.S. don't shower now? I, I, this is making me mad, because I just imagine, like, if my daughter... Like my 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 body is literally hot right now. Like if my daughter ever, if my daughter, I promise y'all, I would not have a daughter anymore if my daughter was like this. That's all I'm saying. Seeing shit in Japan, like everybody dress up to the nines to go to school for no reason, and I'm over here in my fucking sweater, my damn sweatpants, one shoe hanging off, fucking shoelaces and shit. I decided to like download Tinder to host some more to get my dick like up in the hundreds. So like. I started getting matches and shit, and I was like, oh, he fine, he fine, but with Japanese Tinder, a lot of them don't really, like, put their face 
on the profile. Like sometimes it's just like a picture of ramen or the picture of like the Louis Vuitton shoes or something. <laughs> she said a picture of ramen? Oh, that's what they do in Japan, Tinder? Japanese Tinder is pictures of ramen? Shit, you're just like, why are you even on here, bro? So, but then when you finally find a man, it's like, fine. And like, all you gotta do is fucking say hello. Shit, that's all you really need to do. I don't know why this is so hard for y'all. Oh my god, I want this. I want, like, maybe because you're focusing too much on getting a boyfriend instead of getting some dick when that's all they're fucking good for. Like, shit. Like, mm, I shouldn't be saying this. I have a Japanese boyfriend. Like, I'm disgusted. First of all, what if your girlfriend, right? Imagine you as a guy right now. Your boyfriend. No, your girlfriend. Sorry, as a guy, your girlfriend, right? You were on YouTube one day and see on your recommended page and she's expressing her previous and present and future hotivities in your house. Anyways. <laughs> This video is not about how to get yourself a little Japanese boyfriend. If you want to get yourself a Japanese boyfriend, just hop on to one of those little videos by little white people because that's weird if you're looking for like a specific race to date. That's just disgusting. We know you take anything. But I don't be asking that. Like, you take everything. You talk to you. This video is going to be about Japanese dick. Like how to get dick in Japan. Like, because that's the only dick that there is here unless you're looking for fucking like, Chinese dick or Korean dick shit. I don't know, I'm just talking about how to get dick in general in Japan. So mm. I especially stay away from white dick in Japan because white dick in Japan is disgusting, it's wrong, it's against everything that I stand for. Like if you go to Japan to look for white dick, I'm disappointed in you. You should be disappointed in you. Your friends. I'm disappointed in you. God, everybody is God, God? You talking you got you talking about God you need some Jesus that's what you need lady like a white dick in Japan ooh that's a whole another world you're looking for that is just disgusting anyway what I'm gonna teach you how to get some dick and all you gotta do is go outside that's some shit but like don't be looking for dick that's only looking for foreigners and shit cause that's just gross and weird but if they find girl do you like honestly but if you need validation that bad when you only want to date people who are like looking for corner specifically then girl go ahead but that ain't me i ain't the one i ain't the two i ain't the three or the four so don't even come for me bitch <laughs> do you want to build a dropshipping business that brings in first of all of i'm first of all let's pause let's pause right, let's pause uh, let's pause look at her ain't no way she bagging bro there's not that many down bad people in japan in the world. There is not that many down bad people in the world that they are going for this. I'm mad at whoever going for this. This? This? My guy? What you're gonna do, you're either gonna download Tim and go from there, or you're just gonna stand outside. Because that's all you really need to do to book. You just have to look at your options. It's just like Tinder, but in real life, you just go around. You go around, look at your cards. You look at the cards. You look around at the mans that are around you, and you pick. So, you find one that you like. You look at them. You go up to them, or you wait for them to go up to you. Because it's so easy if you're a foreigner. Like, you can get to any time of the day if you are. Because for them, you're like Beyonce, you're Rihanna, you're Naomi Campbell. You was not no Beyonce, Rihanna, Naomi Campbell. You was a trash. You was disgusting. You was, nah, nah. Don't you ever say your name match with Beyonce, Rihanna, Naomi Campbell. Anybody that's above a 2 on the Rate Me 1 to 10 scale. Don't you ever disrespect the world with that. This girl making me so freaking mad. You are that bitch. You are the bitch. Shut up. You do whatever you want. Shut up. This is the truth. And a lot of people on here want to be like, oh my God, Japanese men are shy. They like, they're like this. They're like that. They're like that. And it's just not the truth. Like, they're not shy. They're bold as hell. They are bold as hell. They're one of the boldest niggas. 
you will ever meet. I put like one shot to kill them. They are gone. Like that's it for them. They're bold as hell. They're nasty. They're disgusting. And I like the nasty asses, to be honest with you. Like, ooh. And they want to be like, oh my god, they're shy. They're not going to come up to you. They're not going to do nothing. And that's just because that you're ugly. And like, and what are you? What are you? If everybody else ugly, what are you? Huh? What are you? You is... I'm sorry, it's not the truth. It's just, um, it's just, they don't like your ugly ass. And it's just the truth. It's just that. That's just how it is. Anyway, the booking process is just... It's a spiritual process, like you feel yourself being cleansed as you do it, but then you gotta go to the execution. Like when you finally come to his house, all sprayed up and shit, and your fucking sandwich wall perfume, like with your nice lingerie underneath with the bra that you hadn't washed in like two months, but it doesn't look dirty, so it's okay. The f what the f what the y'all so fun lucky I don't find cuss. Y'all so fun lucky and all though she's so fun lucky I don't fun curse. You f n n nasty, disgusting little girl. What the heck is wrong with her? And like your cute little panties when your ass looks real good, you know. Where you show up to his house, you know, his house is a little messy, but you're like, fuck it, I'm looking for some dick, you know. So that's the execution. Just be real nice, be real. She gotta be like 10. She gotta be like 10. 11 max. 11 max. She has. She, look at her. It's just making me mad. Be, be real soft and domestic, but also be assertive because they love that assertive shit. You know what I mean? Like the real assertive shit that doesn't come from Japanese girls. Because apparently, like having a voice is like differentiates you from someone. Like, I don't know why. That's just kind of disappointing when you hear she's like, oh my god, you're so assertive. Like, no, I'm just being normal. Like, shit. I want some dick. I'm being straight up. I'm not being like being around the bush or nothing. Like, this is just how I am. This is what I want. So, yeah, and like when you finally fuck and you're having like a good ass time and like his dick good, like it makes you feel good, make sure that you follow up with that shit if you want it to be like a regular, you know. You gotta have these niggas on lock just in case like you, you get broke and you ain't got no money and like you need some money for groceries or some shit. You better have these niggas on fucking speed dial because it's important for you to have niggas on like at least trying to get yourself. I wish this ugly roach would ask me some freaking money. I wish this ro I wish this girl would ask me for some money. Oh, you know what I would say? You know what I'ma have to say? You gotta pay me every time you text my phone. Yeah. Ask me for money. Pay me every time you think to text my phone, pay me. Man? What the f this I don't even feel like watching this no more. What the heck am I watching right now? Like four or five. Just to be around the circle, you know, just in case, you know, you need a ride. A lot of them don't have cars, so if you follow up with a car, you better keep that nigga, like, nobody has a car here. Like, you can be 29 years old and not have a damn car. And you don't got nothing to offer. But like, I, no. It's you have nothing to offer. Keep the nigga with the car, you know. That should be, like, your number one or your number two. And find the nigga with money. Make sure he has consistent checks. Consistent checks, a car, a good job, and like his dick good. That's what you can care about. So, that's the follow up process. So, that's basically how you get dick in Japan. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what you do. Everybody wants to talk about how Japan is so safe, but they never really take into account like shit actually goes down here. Like, a lot of us are already victims of assault. And that's like a coming of age thing for a lot of us, especially in the US, which is really, really fucking sad. And just Why she say so? that's not a coming of age? What? Disgusting. But it's also a coming of age here in fucking Japan. Everybody wants to pretend that like Japan is like the safest country in the world, which it's one of them. It can be to an extent, unless you're a woman. Like they don't want to talk about that. And it's like really gross. So I really want to put like shed some light on that because a lot of people don't want to talk about it. It makes them uncomfortable. They just want to talk about like, oh, like there's no gun violence. There's like none of this. But there's sexual assault because men are demons. Men are gross and men are terrifying and disgusting. So I really want to shed some light on that. Okay, let's pause for a second. How, how, how she switched from get a man, get his money, make sure he has a car, consistent checks, good peanut wiener. She's out here looking for some peanut wieners. She's out here looking for some dudes. 
some consistent dudes. How she switch from all that to men are disgusting, men are horrible, men are. I am against that topic, not especially it. not with this little this, this little Tatiana. Especially not with this little Tatiana. Especially your hair is ugly. It's very ugly. Nobody told you come on. Your makeup is horrible. You didn't even fade your eyebrows. You you you, you, you the, the, the I think is stupid. Your lip gloss is nasty. None of your stuff match. You look crazy. But a lot of us have to go through that. It's really not fair. It isn't fair. It isn't. And a lot of men have already disrespected me and my body, and that's just not okay. That's just not a, like an okay thing to do. So I'm gonna be telling you some things how you can stay safe, especially like if you're a woman. Like this is not guaranteed. Like men find ways to just fucking be gross, but I'm just go out and go through some things. Some things here, okay? So I'm gonna list out some things that can keep you safe. You know. So if you're out, you're at a bar, you're at a club, and you buy you a drink, never accept a man who brings you a drink that you did not see it poured. Like, if you did not see the drink poured, do not drink it. That's a it. fact. She finally being smart. That's a fact. Ladies, y'all go out with dudes, too, because John's be trying to be trying, um, drug dudes, too. So dudes, females, whatever it is, man. If somebody hand you a drink, do not drink that crap, man. Be safe. For real. Cause people is crazy. People is literally crazy. Don't be out here. She she's smitten facts right now. Now she well the past sentence she just said is facts. Everything before that, I don't want to hear that thoughts on this. I do not. Do not accept it. Just don't. Just don't. Even if it's free, like just don't take it. You need to see that shit pour out, like into the glass next to him. Like if he's gonna buy you a drink, you need to follow him to the bar. You do not. You keep your eyes on the glass. You keep your eyes on the glass. And it's just gross that I have to be telling you this. Like, it's just really disappointing that I have to be telling you this. Never accept a drink from a man that you did not see the drink was poured, okay? Do not do that. And another thing, if you just have a dick appointment and he's just coming to your house, like, you've never met him before and he's coming to your house, I'm like, obviously, um, I've done this before, like, shit. Like, just make sure you know where your knives are, you know where your scissors, like, your scissors are, just know what to do, you let your friends know what's going on, you let your neighbor know, I and mean, in my case, like, just let somebody know. You, can, you just need to let somebody know that you have a dick appointment just in case, and you need to like, have them keep tabs. She's spitting facts, but she also just pissing me off. She's, the past two topics she just said is facts. Like ladies, for real, like you gotta be safe out here take the precautions. But she's just so stupid, it just makes me mad. It just makes me, I can't really listen to what she's saying because she's just so aggravated. Aggravating. When you just in case, like maybe have them call you, have them text you, like within the first 30 minutes just to see what's up, or like the, just, yeah. And if you know what I mean, just let somebody know, like where you're gonna be, like who it is, take a screenshot of who they are, get their name, get everything down, and send it to somebody just in case, because you never fucking know, honestly, you never know. And yeah, just know what you're doing, who you're fucking. Make sure you always, 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 always use protection, especially if you don't know them. Like, even if you ask them if they've been checked, like, you should ask them. Have okay, them is this done? Even if you're, like, is she done now? Please do. Just make sure. Just make sure. Bring something with you. Bring, like, a little fucking shiv, a taste or something. Something. <laughs> always have to be careful. So... That's basically it that I have to say about dick that I can think of at the moment. I'll probably think of more things as soon as this video is uploaded, but you know, it is what it is. This whole video made me freaking mad. What What is her channel? More than that. Does she post videos or something like that? She still posts videos? Wait, 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 what? Wait. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait, she's, wait a minute, whoa, wait a second, what's going on here, okay, wait, this right here says, being non-binary slash transgender, so what is she, what's, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I met my ex girlfriend in Japan vlog day one. Want to give your e-commerce customers a personalized shopping experience and boost your wait, sales? Wait, wait, wait. Like, 
Oh Wait, where's her? This is her? Wait, is she still in her hoe phase? Is she still hoeing? Is she still being hoe? Um, black lives, what? Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the heck going on, honestly, y'all. Um, but I, what? I, this confuses me, this one right here. I, I ain't even getting into that. But I mean, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I don't know what the heck I just watched. I cannot tell you who, why she would make that video. I can't tell you what, 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 why people would watch. I don't, I, I'm just confused, man. Y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. Like the video right now, man. She angered me. She literally angered me. I don't know if y'all can tell. I was actually mad. Like I was actually like I was just annoyed. I wasn't like mad, like angry, like ugh, I want to fight somebody. I was just like annoyed, so annoyed. But just every word she was saying, I was just annoyed. <sighs> anyways, y'all, man. Before y'all dip out, make sure that subscribe button because we got bangers coming for the rest of my freaking life. Y'all, let me know in the comments down below what y'all think. Also, if you want me to react to a certain video, DM me on Instagram over there at you were underscore. Send me a link to the video if. I react to it, I'll shout you out. And before you dip out, you know what you gotta do. You gotta copy yourself a jewelry. Right? You can buy two of them for free. You can buy up to six or fifty dollars. Let's all pray my daughter does not come out like this. Let's pray everybody's daughter does not come out like this. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all. What the heck did I just for real? Like what for real? What did I just watch? Huh? Like for real. I'm thinking in my head. It's still going in my head. She just talk about you. She want to get as many bodies as possible. She told me, well, you, you got to make sure they got the money. And then I ain't finna get this. But I'm going to see y'all. What the heck did I just watch? This is the worst thing I ever reacted to. Freaking ridiculous. Hey, yo, C3, so fly. Hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky. No, I'm never borderline. They choose I because I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you. When the ladies come through.